Peace in everyone, welcome to Dragon's Lumber Stream, today we're playing Test Expected Behavior. And this is how it starts, so that's uh, why we're already in here. There's no title screen nor anything. This is a game by Veslo Games. Uh, this is a game in... Oh, apparently we play as Gordon Freeman. Um, a game by Veslo Games released on March 8, 2018. This is actually a early access game. So, uh, I believe it has about a third... It's a puzzle game. I believe it has a third of the uh, the puzzles that will be included in the final version. Okay. And... Available a April. So, available in a month, actually. Uh, I'm gonna start with uh, bricks. No twins. This connection. Okay. This. I just closed the game. <laughs> I'm keeping that in. Uh, I I just closed the game. I I don't know. I I didn't expect it. By the way, send us an email at support at veslo.oo. I've never heard of an double, a triple O as an extension. I didn't know that it was a thing. I like that it's stylized as dot t dot e dot s dot t. Yeah. It, it's, I don't, I don't like that because it's annoying to type. Okay. Level walk completed. I I think I completed the, the puzzle before it had time to do the story. So it's a game that's very... Um... Inspired by Portal, uh, not Portal, um, Cube, Q U B. So I can't cross these if I'm not holding a blue object. Which the story is basically explaining to me, but can I carry both? I can. Okay. It's a game in early access, as I mentioned. Launched by Infibeam. <laughs> well, there you go. Right mouse button. I need... Okay. Oh, okay. There you go. Boom. So, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna be honest. I already lost uh, interest in the story. Um, story, as I've mentioned countless times, people know. It's all about presentation. If you're only... If you're only writing text, then uh, that's that's not interesting. Uh, you need to do you need to do more. And you know, especially since the story is kind of oh, people start talking, but then you can immediately cut the cut the story short. Like that's no, that's not how you present the story. Okay. Whoa! Oh, okay. I wonder if I'm a robot. That's that's a weird thing. Okay. Well, 
Yeah, I mean, it's not... It's not terrible. Um, so, I'm, this game was made in Unity. Um, and I'm going to say... Was I supposed to jump here? Oh, I guess I guess the story would have told me. Um, I'm gonna say what I often say about. Um, I, I've often said to people, if you're making a a 3D game, make it in Unreal instead. And I think this game kind of showcases this. Um, I mean, it it looks fine. It looks fine. But if this was made in Unreal, it would look amazing. It would look so much better. The lighting would be better. Everything would be better. And it would probably, like, obviously, it's not that easy. You know, you need to, it, it's a di different process to kind of um, port the game. And, you know, you might have to learn a new engine and all that. Like, it's not, it's not a straightforward solution. But as far as how the game looks, like, yes, I absolutely believe that this game should have been made in, um, in Unreal instead. This minimalistic lighting, yeah, and um, you you can you can especially see it because this game looks so much like um like um cube that, that I've mentioned before. This this game really really looks like cube, and um, I mean I, I'm breezing through these early levels. I, I I feel like I'm not even talking about the levels, but. I mean, what? Oh, okay. Huh. Okay. Okay, wait, what? T pauses time, F accelerates time T pauses time including the timer at the top D okay interesting I mean, this is... Now, now I'm intrigued. Th these two buttons, like, thus far, eh, it's fine. These two buttons have me intrigued now. I love time control. Huh. I wonder if the correct... I'm gonna try this level again. Was it Z? Yeah. Yeah, this level uh, changes depending on if you play it in one direction or uh, the other. Do you know how the lighting in Crytek Lumberyard captures? I don't know. No, I, I, I don't. I'm not that well versed in different. Um... In different engines. Nope. No. Nope. Oh, it's rewind, see? Eh? 
Okay, well. I can't rewind further, so we're gonna do this. Uh, throw. No! Tried using that level was so quantum physics. <laughs> No! Why? Well, I... Okay, I can just rewind. I wonder if I can do... Pause time, grab this. I guess not. Yep. I keep doing R to uh, rewind time. Okay. Why not? By playing you change the level? It's true. They are saying so many things. And I'm not paying attention to any of it. This level should... It was... Okay. This level was not properly built. Uh, we're gonna do this again. So... The, all I need to do here is drop this ball here, stand on it, and jump here. I mean, I guess why not? But it would have been so much, uh, and maybe later on that's what they'll they'll force me to do. It would have been a lot more interesting if I had to do this and place the ball in the air while pausing, and then uh, jump from that ball. Um, maybe that's too advanced at this stage of the game. But that's where my mind is at this point, personally, so, um, yeah. Why are there still people talking? No one cares. Well, I don't care. There we go. What? That can't be the right way to do this. Might be a little too easy. Um, I I get it. Not not everyone is a master. Not everyone has played Portal or or anything like that. So. But, yeah, I mean, really? Uh, not a fan of this one. Okay, that, that was not the right button. <laughs>
And I am... Oh, okay, there you go. Yeah, so a lot of... I guess a lot of stuff... A lot of levels are kind of locked until... Um... Oh, and it's very episodic, I guess. I don't know how to do this one. Um... I'm going to stand on this. I'm going to do V to slow down time. And then I'll replay. <laughs> Don't think it worked. I was kind of hoping it would roll, but I don't think uh, that's how it works. Yeah, there you go. Roll. I can't push. I, I, I think I'm doing it correctly. Maybe. It's hard to say. I mean, I'm using, I'm using the various tools that my, that are, that are available to me. So, surely I'm doing the right thing. Um, B. Can I? Come on. Uh, no. Okay. One more. This feels wrong. Um, I really don't know if it is or not. Yeah, I know this one. Uh, pause. Oops. Pause. Place here. And then grab. Grab. Crouch. There you go. I don't know if... Oh! I could have done that before. Okay. I'm going to trigger this. I'm going to trigger this. They're not going to work.
I'm not sure how to do this. I need to... Take the ball and throw it up. Or not. Oh. Okay. Well, maybe. Um, pause. T. Do this. Place the ball in here. Take the ball. And it didn't work. Did I trigger anything? I thought I did. I guess I didn't. Okay. You know, I think the problem was that I had paused it and I forgot that I had paused it. And I think he just gave me the answer as I was solving it. Okay. Well, I'm I'm a little bit. I, I think I'm more of a fan of this one than the previous one. Okay, so t pause time. I think this is what I'm supposed to do. Well. Maybe. I don't know. There's nothing more in this room. I mean, this, if this is how it's supposed to be done, I'm not a fan of this. I'm definitely not a fan of this. No! It's not super punishing because you can always rewind. But like here, like, mm, No! It's not the right one. Oh, 
Okay, uh, I, I need to restart this. I mean, this looks... I mean, maybe this is what I'm supposed to do? It looks weird if that's the case, right? Like, this doesn't feel right. By far, I'm... Okay. On one hand, it feels weird, but on the other, like, it works. It works and it's unique. So, I mean, maybe this is exactly what I'm supposed to do. Okay, and uh, we're gonna throw... We just control this one. Ah. There we go. Ultimately, I'll have completed in like 8 seconds, so I'm still pretty happy with my time. I'm really good at this game. Okay, juggle. Nope. <laughs> All right, well, why not? Stop time. I mean, stuff like this is actually really cool, I think. Hey, cyber official, peace in. Welcome to test expected behavior. Okay. So does this, I mean, does this just do that? I get, okay, I guess I'm supposed to bounce it off, maybe. Do this, oops. Do this.
I have no idea what they want from me. I thought it was bouncing it off. Did the aliens say something? Did anyone notice? Okay. I guess it was a, uh, uh, it was misdirection. I think this is the last level of the game uh, in this current state. I, I don't even understand how Okay, there you go. Easy. Not my favorite way of completing it, but sure. Okay, can't can do this, can do this. All of these are locked and uh oh. Okay, well, you know what? Uh, I'm still there's a little more bit more to discover, but I'll let people uh, try it out for themselves. Uh test expected behavior, a game by, by Veslo Games. Available right now on Steam for the price of four dollars. So I mean for what it is. It's pretty good I I kind of really like it and I think they uh, the, the whole I love time mechanics and I, I think they Overall are doing something pretty good with the time mechanics uh, as you can see in the corner I kind of completed three three sections and There's a bunch of more sections. They each seem to have about ten levels or so so, uh, the, the final game is going to have 120 levels, uh, which I think is really good. I think it's a, for five, for $4, uh, I think it's a really good price. Continuing to put out new levels, April, we saw May earlier, so go check it out. Uh, that's going to be it for me for now. So, my name is Kevin Jaguer, and I'll talk to you guys next game. Peace out. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. You know the drill, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. And be sure to check out some games I've made, like Arrow Light Core. Alright, until next time, peace out!